Hi, so this is an un unboxing video of these five cheap art materials that I got from Pound Shop, which you know is the equivalent of uh, America's dollar store or wherever else you can get cheap art materials like this. Uh, I'm going to start with these chunky paint pens. I'm just going to put them to one side. I'm just going to unbox this one. Now you get five colours in this one. Pretty much the, the main colours, blue, green, orange, red and yellow. Quite chunky. I'm not really holding out much um, hope of these turning out any good uh, when I do the challenge videos. Um, oh, by the way, that this video uh, was requested by uh, another YouTuber called Itch Itch San Adam. I do, I do apologise if that's pronounced. I've pronounced it wrong, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd give that mention shout out there. Um, yeah, so you get five of these. And they're quite chunky markers. Let's chuck that over there. So it's like, um, I think these are sort of like dab ones. I don't know if you have to open them up first and just have a look. Yeah, there's a little plug there. Pull that out. Yeah. So, hmm. And all the work. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Just as uh, cheap as you, you know, sort of expect, really. But I don't know, I could make something with it. Don't even know what type of paints they are. Uh, no, they're probably what it say on the back. They don't usually say much on the back. Less mess with chunky paint dabbers. Easy to hold and use paint. Is no. I can imagine it's the sort of like poster paint stuff um, sort of kid friendly paint yeah they seem to work alright yeah they've all got like a little plug in there you just take them all out nope <laughs> yeah hmm yeah squeeze it hard and like loads comes out you can just spread it around what you have there hmm interesting effects we could create yeah so as I said in my well one of my vlogs earlier when I got these I'm gonna do like um, sort of five minute challenge to maybe draw something you know with each of these yeah, just to see if I can do something you know create a concept or anything just a piece of art or even so anyway that's them markers I don't know why they're given orange when they've got like a yellow and a red though because you can just mix them together to make but yeah basic colours anyway so that's them paint markers put them aside so next up is the Despicable Me 12 colouring pencils now, it's just a simple peel back. I think with these, you've got your basic colours again. They've all been like pre sharpened. Brown, I think. You got a brown, you got a dark blue, got a black, yellow, green, and a lighter green. 
the feel is a bit cheap. You got that crinkle there? Like, uh, I think that's like a sticker or something on the thing. That's going to get annoying if I'm drawing. Yeah, got blue, got pink, purple, orange, red. Just the basic colours, really. Right, I've got my standard piece of card which I always usually draw on. I'm just going to test the yeah, fairly cheap but workable. You can create something with them. Bits just um, flake off slightly, which uh, a bit annoying, but. So it's, it's to be expected, um, you know, using these sort of cheap art materials. Um, some some can be real good quality, and some aren't really. But yeah, suppose these are okay. You can maybe create some layers. Let's see how they blend. Blend a little bit. So that's them 12 Despicable Me colouring pencils with um, you, you wouldn't know it was like Despicable Me uh, by looking at the pencils only by the packaging but yeah there's them pencils so these are like 12 graded pencils uh, they'll be like grades what does say? Don't say anything. <laughs> I'll probably mention it in the tin anyway. So I'll just open these. And at least these come in like a little tin, so you can keep them in the tin as well. So that's what I like. Instead of you know the despicable me pencils, which just come in a package which you have to throw away. So just try and open these. Yeah. So you got. 6B, zoom in, yeah, there we go. You got a 6B, I'm gonna turn these over, oh, take them out. You got a 6B, 5B, 4B, 3B, a 2B, and a B, and an F. Usually they're like the more softer ones. Uh, which you can do real darker shading, and these will be the lighter ones. The F, you got the H, you got a 2H, you got a 3H, 4H, and a 5H. Strangely, there's no HB pencil, but doesn't really matter, you still got a variation of different tones there. I usually like using the softer pencils you know like the B oh yeah these are all good actually Just remember when I said sometimes these cheaper art materials are pretty good quality well these these are pretty good they've got the other uses that was a 6B that one Try a B at the other end of that spectrum, which is slightly more lighter. If you can see that, yeah, yeah, but they're pretty good. I mean, you blend that together. I mean, you, you wanted to use your finger. Hmm, don't blend as good, <laughs> but you can do different layers and stuff, can you? Yeah, yeah, but I really like the tin, you know, because you can just put your pencils back in there and don't lose them. Because I'm always losing pencils. Oh, the kids keep nicking them. <laughs> they always steal my pencils. <laughs> I don't mind. Let's get some more. <laughs> so that's them, 12, 12 graded pencils. I'm going to enjoy drawing, uh, just a basic pencil drawing with that. Um, but a five minute challenge 
should be enough time. So next to these dual tip felt tip pens, you get 15 in a pack. Um, it's the same art pack as them other like chunky paint pens. I think that's the company I assume, I don't know. Yeah, it probably is. So I'll just open these and just have a look. Usually in these type of packets you can put them back and keep them in you know these as well, so that's pretty useful. So you've got like a dark blue, light blue, dark green, light green, you've got a yellow, and you've got an orange, pink, uh, that's an orange as well. Orangey like red I think, and a red, um, like a pinky purple. Violet or purple, a light brown, possibly dark brown, grey, and black. So I'm gonna go straight for the black. I always go for the uh, black shade of any markers and that. It's got a a nice like um, shape tip to the end there. Nice thin lines. Wonder if you can. You can do a thicker line on the side as well. Yeah, you can create some nice inking effects with these. Although I don't think these are waterproof, so I'd have to maybe make an immediate scan of any drawings that I use, you know, with these. So, yeah, that's them. Basic cheap pens. Oh wait a minute, there's the other tips I forgot about. Ah, there's a thinner tip. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was something else. Yeah, there's a more thinner tip there, which basically does the same thing, but slightly thinner than them thinner lines. And can you? Thicken up the lines, or probably, but no, it's just basic. Yeah, not bad. On to the last one, which is the watercolour paints. Right, so these watercolours come in a little plastic case, which is always a plus. So let's just open that. Now on the face of it, they look okay, and I, I'm not sure how they. You know, fair really, until you open the thing. There we go. So, we've got a range of colours. Mm, just counting up. Does it say on the thing? I can't be asked to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, eight, five, 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 six, seven, nine, twenty, 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 glass of water at the side here. There we go, ding ding. Let's try out what colour to go for. Mm, always go for red. Let's try get some red on just to see what a bit more water. Just I'm interested in the colour just to see. Mm. I think when it comes to the challenge with these watercolours, it really is going to be a challenge. <laughs> Especially with this paintbrush. These paintbrushes are notoriously rubbish. But that's part of the challenge, I suppose. Yeah. You could do some like dry brush effects, I suppose. 
yeah not bad but I always say it comes in a case so you can just tidy them away so that's pretty good so that's them cheap items so I hope you enjoyed that quick video and you understand that these five items uh, will be part of this five minute drawing challenge where I attempt to draw something with each of these so it'll be like five separate videos uh, for each so yeah it should be a fun a fun little challenge art challenges anyway I'll see you in the next video cheers now